I think that what Kelly was saying is valid, and that the laws against child labor would have been passed sooner if women could vote, and that many women didn't want this to be going on. Yet, we have to take into consideration that some women, such as the very lower class, very poor women, would not immediately vote against it. They would not agree when she said, we don't wish this, we prefer to have our work done by men and women. For them, they had no choice but to send their kids to work. Maybe their husband died or became crippled in the mines or something like that. And because of the extreme wage gap, they could never cover the amount of profit that he used to make. Or maybe even with their husband's salary, having 10 plus kids, they still couldn't get enough money to make it by. Perhaps making their children 13 years of age to work 12 hours at night was their only option. So maybe they still would accept child labor to simply survive. Overall, we can't assume that every woman was for a restriction on child labor and would vote out the vote out of the existence that shameful repeal bill enabled, enabling girls of 14 years to work all night, saying that if the mothers of New Jersey were enfranchised, these working laws would disappear disregards the impoverished part of society's view on the topic.